All right, we're gonna try Madden 12 again. If you recall, last time I did it, the game froze. I've been playing it all lately. No, I played it the next day, actually, and it didn't freeze. Let's pray that it doesn't freeze here. Time Rune Sports Show, episode 124. Don't worry, I'll be back in the studio next week for uh, the what do you call it, regular show. It's just that, of course, my mom still recovering from COVID. Don't worry, folks. She is way better now. She is all right. She is doing fine. No need to worry. And now time to jump right into things with the Cleveland Cavaliers as there's a big hit up on the 15. Darius, 18.2 points, 6.8 assists per game. Dean Wade, 5.1 points per game, 3.5 rebounds per game, and an 83.3 free throw percentage. Ricky Rubio, I like Ricky Rubio. You know why? Because he's averaging 15.1 points per game. By the way, I'm doing Lions Bears because that is, of course, the Thanksgiving Day game. I will switch teams at halftime if I'm able to get to halftime. Of course, typically I would do Browns and stuff, but it's a Thanksgiving tradition for me to always play uh, the three Thanksgiving Day games on the Wii because I'm the most thankful for the Nintendo Wii. The greatest console ever created. As here comes Jay Cutler. Remember him? That one's incomplete. Excuse me for one second. Yeah, Ricky has 15.1 points per game. Uh, 6.3 assists per game and 37.1% uh, uh, three-point percentage. Mori Markinen has 13.9 uh, points per game. Uh, 6.1 rebounds per game and 1.1 steals per game. I like Jared Allen. Do you like Jared Allen? Because he has 14.6 points per game, 1.2 rebounds per game, and 1.1 steals per game. And a wise idea to fair catch that ball. The Detroit Lions have been consistently garbage for the last 60 years. Did you know that they've only won one playoff game in the last 60 years against Dallas? 1992. Oh, we dropped it. Yeah, when I say the Lions are awful, I mean the Lions are awful. Cavs at Nets, we lost 109-99, to and it was a good game. I'm looking for Megatron out there, and it's nearly picked. Ricky, 25 points. Darius, 24 points. Dean, Kevin, and Jetty. 11 points each. James Harden, 27 points, 10 rebounds. Lamarcus Aldridge, 24 points. We were barely leading for a minimal part of the game. But we did have two more steals than those old Brooklyn Nets, who are, I believe, uh, atop that Eastern Conference. As Matthew Stafford's going to try to run. Yeah, Matthew Stafford running. Yeah, Matthew Stafford in Detroit, not Los Angeles. He escaped that football purgatory, I guess one might say. Where nothing good ever happens. As there's Young on the catch. Cavs against Warriors. It was a good game, but the Cavs ended up losing, unfortunately. 104 to 89. Steph Curry was the main story. 40 points for Steph. Wiggins had 14 points for the, who do you call him? Uh, the Warriors, of course, Andrew Wiggins was formerly with the Cavaliers, if you recall. We traded him. Shortly after drafting him to get Kevin Love. Which turned out to be a great trade. Darius, 25 points, 4 threes. Dean, 17 points, 9 rebounds. Kevin had 17 points and 7 rebounds. Cavs were up by 13 after 3. And we won for most of the game. But couldn't finish off the fight. Looking for Brandon Pettigrew. Oh man, first down to Pettigrew. Oh, my ground game hasn't been working well with Javid Best, or Javid Worst in this case. Like, the Lions are the worst team in the history of football. They're like the Chicago Cubs, except, never mind, they're not lovable losers. The Cubs aren't lovable losers either, especially after what happened in the World Series five years ago. Hard to believe it's been five years. All right, I'm going to go Wildcat, my favorite. Or maybe they don't have Wildcat. Well then. I know that uh, the Browns playbook has Wildcat. Well, big third down. 
Come on, Matthew Stafford going to take it in himself. Touchdown, Detroit. We lost again to the Nats, 117-112. Darius, 24 points, 11 assists. Ricky, 16 points, 7 rebounds. Jadir, 20 points, 15 rebounds. KD, 27 points, 9 assists. Lamarcus had 21 points, 11 rebounds. James Harden, 14 points, 14 assists. We were up by 12 and one for most of the game. It's a shame. And we're playing against the Phoenix Suns. We're looking for their 14th consecutive one. Of course, the Phoenix Suns have been on a tear. They're upset about losing in the NBA Finals last year. They're looking to get something cooking. And there is a face mask called Rats. Now time for my favorite part of the show, Tommy's Picks. First things first, uh, the regional finals. Division one, region one. St. Ed's played Medina in what turned out to be one of the most anticlimactic games of the season. A game that was supposed to be very hyped up. A game that started off like it was going to be a good game. Turned out to be a big blowout for the uh, Eagles. St. Ed's wins at 41-6. Mark Bishop Hoban took down Walsh 49-30. Avon at Sandusky, Cedar Point Stadium. It was a 43-42 win over the tough Toledo Central Catholic Fighting Irish. And that was a very weird thing that I saw there from Jay Cutler. What was Jay Cutler thinking on that? Well, yeah, well, Avon went for two. Sorry for the voice crack. <laughs> Avon went for two in overtime. And they converted the two-point conversion to barely escape against Toledo Central Catholic. And, of course, anyone that is, knows me knows that I know that Toledo Central Catholic is very good, especially considering what happened. Holy cow, it's been almost two weeks since one of the most, one of the saddest losses in school history when it comes to football. There's a deep pass, and it's incomplete. Massimo Washington, the Paper Tigers strike again. They've only won it on paper. Haven't won a single state championship since uh, the introduction of the state tournaments. As how is that not picked off? Since 1972-73, they lost to Green 26-25. How about those Green uh, Bulldogs, I believe? There's a pass that was nearly intercepted. Good Lord, three straight incomplete passes. 7-0 Detroit. I'd be floored if they win tomorrow. Chardon took down Dover 31-3. West Holmes beat Holy Name and ended Holy Name's uh, dream season 31-21. Ursuline kicked the tar out of West Branch 64-35. And Kirtland rolling with a 38-15 win. And Ottawa Glandorf ends the season for Illyria Catholic. The fifth seed, Ottawa Glandorf, wins 31-6. to That is a very good point. A very, very good point inside the 10. Let's go. College football, Northern Illinois won against Buffalo. They'll be heading to Detroit, actually, for the uh, MAC championship game, winning in overtime in a classic 33. Uh-oh, football's out, and Detroit on it. 33-27. Ohio State beat the crap out of Michigan State. 56-7. My goodness. That was one of the saddest games I had ever seen. And there were memes saying that Michigan had another COVID outbreak. And if Michigan does have a COVID outbreak, which would be ironic again, I, I think they're trying to get out of it. But yet again, I don't think they're going to try to get their way out of it. Stafford shakes off one. Ah, rats a holding call. Oh, he had a touchdown. Wait, it's good. It's a face mask. I thought it was a holding call. Oh, let's go. I don't know where the face mask was, but Clemson upset Wake Forest 48-27. Oklahoma beat Iowa State 28-21. And Kent State took down Akron. Well, I mean take him down. I mean take him down. 38 nothing. As Akron's only won two games this year, which is more than what they did last year. And more than what we did two years ago. So, improvement, question mark, with the new head coach? I guess. <laughs> Notre Dame beat up Georgia Tech 55-0. And 
And Alabama hung on against Arkansas, 42-35. And Cincinnati won against SMU, 48-14. Wisconsin took down Nebraska, 35-28. Come on, we're bringing on the heat, and Jay's going down. NC State beat Syracuse, 41-17. Uh, Louisiana beat Liberty, 42-14. Uh, and in an anticlimactic big game, it turns out that there was a big win for Cal, 41-11. Good ward over Stanford. And Utah upset City USA, 38-7 win over the Oregon Ducks, effectively Ending their hopes and dreams of a playoff berth. Uh-oh. Good job. And uh, Oklahoma State took down Texas Tech 23 nothing. LSU beat your Monroe 27-14. And will be Coach O's second to last game. Come on, let's go for the safety. I'm going for safety. You know I'm going for safety. They don't have any security. And yoink. I missed. And he muffs it, and Chicago's going to pick it up. Oh, man, I shouldn't have touched it. Of course, I'm switching teams at second half. In the NFL, well, it's official. The Patriots are no longer missing Tom Brady anymore. It was a 25 to nothing win. And they did not pull a 25-point lead against the Falcons. Unlike what the who do you call them, Falcons did to them. And now that kick return or punt return is definitely going to kick himself for that. Browns, we beat those losers or the Lions. And I'm mad I just took out the kicker. 13 10. Die Eagles die. Took down the Saints 40 29. Free Willie winner again 24 17. The football team won 27 21. Everybody pray for me, my fantasy team. Everyone pray for my fantasy team because I had who do you call? I went up against Jonathan Taylor. Yeah, I went up against Jonathan Taylor and I lost in my fantasy team. Despite putting up more than 160 points. I almost had 170 points and I still lost because I went up against Jonathan Taylor. Who had the greatest day of his life. A five touchdown game tied the Colts record as they won 41 to 15. 49ers took down Suxonville 30 to 10. And Houston beat Tennessee. I don't know how you lose to Houston. Oh, nice pass right there to Williams. First down. I don't know how on earth you lose to Houston because Houston's absolutely garbage and horrendous. Yeah, the Vikings beat the Packers. Justin Jefferson had a good game. So did Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins is having a great season. He is being so overlooked as that pass is picked off. Not what Matthew Stafford wanted to do. Ravens beat a team that should fire Matt Nagy, otherwise known as the Chicago Bears, 16-13. The Bengals are no longer the Bungles once again as they defeat the Raiders and pound them. 32-13. And the Seahawks are officially dead. They lost to the Cardinals 23-13. And the Chiefs beat the Cowboys 19-9. Chargers won Sunday night. And a final score of 41-37. If only the Chargers could get another touchdown and the PAT. So it would be 48-37. to which, as we all know, is the greatest final score in the history of football. But I'm pretty sure most folks knew that by now. And the uh, Buccaneers, Tom Brady, showcased some athleticism out there in that game with a 30-10 to 10 win. He ran for a first down. Yes, you heard that right. Tom Brady ran for a first down. I went 4-5 and five in high school football. Okay, he's learning his lesson. He's not going to feel that. Oof. College football, 12 and 3, 14 points. NFL, 7 and 8 with 7 points. My lock of the week was wrong. I had Tennessee as my lock of the week. I'm 93, 71 and 1 with 101 points. And what's been perhaps one of the craziest football seasons in recent memory. Nothing has made sense. Just like how this is making no sense right now. Javid worse 
was running right into his own lineman. We are not running that play again. I am sorry. We are doing something else. Halfback flat's not a bad play. How many rushing yards does he have? Probably negative. Nope, two. Positive two. Imagine if you have him on your fantasy team. You'd get an extra point right there, extra two points right there. I'm going to switch teams at half, but first things first, Tommy's picks. Uh, Upper Arlington against St. Ed's. Have to give up to St. Ed's. St. Ed's took down Medina, and they beat the tar out of them. What the? Must have been acting up. Fortunately, I was out of pocket. Six for 13 today is Matthew Stafford, who's been running a lot. Uh-oh, there's no way this is caught. Case in point. Springfield against Archbishop Moore. I'm picking Archbishop Moore to win that. Avon against Tobin. That should be a good game. I believe that will be at Byers Field. I may or may not go. I went to the, what do you call it? Oh, come on. My pointer wasn't working. That's what happened. And Green against Winton Woods. You know what, Green? I think they can continue their hot run. They may be the seventh seed, but they are very good. My pick goes with the Green Bulldogs. I just really think they're a good school. Chardon against Wentz. Storms picking Chardon. Baden against Granville picking Granville. Woman Carroll against Quentin Massey picking Bloom. Carroll will win that. And then poor Quentin against... Uh, uh, Ursuline, I'm picking Ursuline, winning that one. Cutler, quick pass. Nearly picked off. Ah, oh, man. But in typical Lions fashion, he drops it. Did I tell you that I'm not a Lions fan? Because I do not like wasting my time. By the way, no lock of the week or upset of the week for uh, high school football because it is now the state semifinals. He throws it away. I might as well kneel it when I get the ball. Kirtland playing Ottawa Glandorf, picking Kirtland. Versailles against Harvest Prep, picking uh, Versailles. New Middleton Springfield playing carry. I'm picking New Middleton Springfield as the heat is on him. And, ah, oh, almost picked it off. West Jefferson against Cold Water, picking Cold Water to win that MSML against Hopewell Loudon, picking MSML. And then Warren JFK Catholic playing Newark Catholic in what should be a good matchup. I for one am, uh oh, Spaghetti OZ luckily recovers it. I'm picking Warren JFK Catholic to win that. That is quite a long name, may I say, Warren JFK Catholic. And kneel down. We will hit the half, but first need to switch teams. Side select. Bears. And that's all she wrote for the first half. And that's all for my high school picks. Now, college football. That's another thing. Central Michigan against Eastern Michigan. Picking Central Michigan to win that. Bowling Green against Ohio. Ohio's going to win that game. East Carolina is home against Cincinnati. Trying to pull off a big upset. But I doubt it's going to happen because Cincinnati is very good. And Cincinnati, after, calling, after I called him the Rodney Dangerfield of college football because... Hey, they don't got no respect. No respect, I tell you. No respect at all. Now they're finally getting some. By the way, Ronnie's 100th birthday would have been last Monday, by the way. Definitely one of the funniest people ever. That one's incomplete. I think the team with the now gets respect on to win this game. Cincinnati, they got one. win. That's right, I'm picking the Bearcats. NC State against North Carolina. Picking NC State to win it. After all, they are home. Oh, could have been picked off. Could have gone the other way. Could have gone touchdown. Oh, well. And then Washington against Washington State. The Apple Cup picking Washington. Georgia Tech against Georgia. Lock of the week. Or as that one's going to be complete for a first down. Lock of the week. Picking Georgia to win. And that's the game. Michigan, Ohio State. The only time I actually have myself rooting Find myself rooting for Ohio State, except this year, or yes, also this year as well, because I want to win, because that means Michigan would fall down and Notre Dame would move up. So I'm picking Ohio State to win the game once again. 
I really like their odds of winning. They win almost every year against at the game. They haven't lost the game in 10 years. That was when Luke Fickle, nowadays I believe the head coach of Cincinnati, was the uh, head coach. Ford against Florida State. Someone has to win that game. Of course, Dan Mullins out at, at, at Florida. I'm picking you off to win that. And the Iron Bowl, Auburn, Alabama. Of course, there's a lot of magic that happens at Jordan Hare a lot when it comes to uh, the Iron Bowl. Kick six. Go crazy, Cadillac. What else happened there that was famous? Of course, the kick six. Uh, the missed field goal by or Alabama in 2019. But you know what? This year, Auburn has not been good. And Alabama is on a mission to make sure they make the playoffs and clinch a spot in Atlanta. I think they already have clinched a spot in Atlanta. There will be no happiness in Auburn by the end of Saturday night because Alabama is going to win it. And then what was formerly known as the Civil War, that's right, we're we talking about the, uh, what do you call it, Oregon-Oregon State matchup. I am picking Oregon to win that. Michigan State against Penn State, upset award Penn State to win that game. Virginia against VTech, picking Virginia. Arizona State, Arizona, Arizona State. Oklahoma State hosting Oklahoma, which would be a great game. Of course, Oklahoma went down to... Uh, Baylor earlier this year, as that pass is incomplete. I do realize I have a pretty good running back back then with Matt Forte. So I might want to try giving it to him. Okay. And then you have Stanford against Notre Dame. Should be a lock for Notre Dame. And UCLA against Cal. I'm picking uh, UCLA. Even though California did have a mammoth win. A whipping over... Uh, Stanford the week before. See, I, I can hand it off. Let me try it again. No, oh, I hate drop plays. Why not count drop? This game, loser wise against Fire Matt Nagy. I hinted to a uh, Bears win earlier in this game, and I am picking. I am picking the Bears. Cowboys against what now seems to be choked Vegas. I am picking. The Cowboys. I never thought I'd say this, but how about them Cowboys? They are actually looking like a legit team despite a loss to the Hoonicom Chiefs. Saints against the Bills. I don't know why. My upset of the week. I'm going with my gut feeling. The Bills kind of have been sucking. They lost uh, to the Jets, I believe. Back when Mike White's career was a thing. And they lost to the Colts and got destroyed to the Colts. They're no longer in first place. I'm picking the Saints. Colts against the Buccaneers. As good as Jonathan Taylor has been all year. As good of a game Jonathan Taylor had last week. As there's a dart pass that's dropped. Buccaneers. Texans toast against the J-E-T-S. Suck, suck, suck. Oh, God. Someone has to win that game. And who's going to win that game, you may ask. As Cutler trying to run. My pick, Houston. They beat Tennessee, but yet again, the Jets also beat Tennessee. The two teams that beat Tennessee are battling for the number two pick. The Lions have secured off number one. Good God, Jay Cutler moves like a semi-truck. And Giant losers against Die Eagles die. As crazy as it sounds, I'm picking the Eagles as my lock of the week. Free Willie against the Panthers, picking the Panthers. Patriots against the Titans, I'm thinking the Patriots because how on earth do you lose to the Texans and the Jets? And not to mention Adrian Peterson was caught by the who do you call him? As Golden Tate, that former Notre Dame receiver who caught the fail Mary, is now in Tennessee. Bengals against Steelers, I like Cincinnati to win that game. Suxonville against the Chokers, otherwise known as the Atlanta Falcons, picking the Atlanta Falcons to win that. Here it comes, Jay Cutler trying to take off, and he's so close to the end zone, he can basically smell it. Anyways, Broncos, Chargers, that'll be a good game. I'm picking the Chargers, though. Packers, Rams, that'll be a great game. I don't think I got that. I'm definitely, oh, I did get it. Um, 
Packers or Rams. I originally said Packers, but now I'm going to change it to the Rams. Of course, Aaron Rodgers still struggling with, uh, quote, COVID toe, whatever that means. I don't know. I really never heard of it. My mom had COVID, of course, and she never had COVID toe. At least, unless she's lying. <laughs> 49ers, Vikings. Vikings are going to win it. Ravens Browns Sunday night football. I hate doing this, but I am picking the Ravens to win it. Yes, I'm picking against the Browns for the second time this year. The Browns were perhaps the most inconsistent team in the entire AFC North. Lamar Jackson rarely loses to us. He's only lost once to us, I believe, in his entire career. And if Lamar can come back, that would be... A big win for them. And then the football team against the Seahawks on Monday night. Dear God, someone has to win that. Taylor Heineke, I think, will lead the football team to a win and propel them in the NFC least divisional race, if you could call it a race, because, of course, the Cowboys are sort of running away with it. There's a hit stick right there. And uh, I guess I'll do it. I would show you the rest of this game, but we're going to exceed my time limit. You know, and I'll try to do it. If we get past 29 minutes, that's when I'm going to end it. It'll probably go past 29 minutes as Megatron makes the catch. Good play right there for a first down as there are about three minutes to go. So, yeah, this is a bit of a longer uh video because of how good of a game this is is David Best up the middle doesn't get much I can definitely expect this game to be close two bad teams going at it from the NFC North of course it's a Thanksgiving tradition to watch the Detroit Lions lose as Matthew Stafford play fake and be caught by Felton wonder if he has any relations to Dimitrik and as we all know Dimitrik Felton is a very good football player I'm pretty sure most of y'all knew that by now. Toss play on third down. What are they thinking? I know they're not thinking. Big hit. And as we hit the two-minute warning, I might as well say so long here from WCTV. 14-14 is the score. I'll tweet what the final score is. So follow me on Twitter at Team Maroon Sports. Till then, so long.